name is Geraldine Cochran. I work in the Department of Physics at Rochester Institute of Technology as an administrator and an adjunct professor. I teach the STEM Education Research and Practice course, and with our affiliate institution, I teach the courses for pre-service physics teachers. My name is Katherine Sparks-Whittle, and I am a PhD graduate student in the States. My name is Shohini Ghosh, and I am a professor at Wilfrid Laurier University in Waterloo, Canada. Um, I grew up in India. I'm Ann Cox, and I teach physics at Eckerd College, which is a small private liberal arts institution in St. Petersburg, Florida, in the U.S. I loved physics in high school. And I remember reaching out to one of my teachers and saying, I'm thinking about majoring in physics in college. And I remember that teacher telling me that physics was for guys who were going to become engineers. And I didn't know what an engineer was. So I felt like physics wasn't for me. I was often just the only female student. I was in classrooms where the professor came in and said, good morning, gentlemen. You know, I wasn't necessarily included in the homework groups as much. I wasn't asked to answer questions as much. So the small things. And I really started doubting myself and wondering, do I want to stay in this? Maybe it's not for me. And can I really cope? I encountered um, people who would tell me that I was only there because I was a woman. I was only accepted because I was a woman. I only passed the candidacy exam, which everybody, I'd been studying for for two weeks, harder than I'd ever studied for anything, and I only passed it because I was a woman. They felt sorry for me. So I wanted to take calculus-based physics, but my advisor would not allow me to take calculus-based physics. He said it would be too hard, had a high DFW rate, many students were successful, and he encouraged me to take the algebra-based physics class. I tried to get him to sign the form to allow me to register for calculus-based physics, but he didn't. So I filled out the form again and I signed his name and I took calculus-based physics instead uh, anyway. And uh, I loved it. Um, I walked in and it was a very small class. There were 12 of us in the class because this was for people who might be physics majors and my professor who was old and um, male, looked at the room and he said, physics is something few men and no women understand. And that was enough motivation for me to try to prove him wrong. And so by the time I got to senior year, I was the only physics major left out of that group of 12. But luckily I joined a great experiment. I have a great advisor. And I was lucky enough to talk to a professor who eventually became my advisor. And he was a, you know, a really great person. And he made absolutely no difference between whether you know, he had male students or female students, really. It was, it was wonderful to be in that kind of environment. I had a mentor who was a physics professor who's kind of always encouraged me to remain in physics despite the many barriers that I've kind of encountered in my academic career that's always helped me to return to physics.